The third season of Stranger Things has definitely wowed us in more ways than one. From its beginnings as a show you could show your little siblings, it's changed quite a lot. Like, who would have thought it would get this intense and gory, right? You'd think Netflix would leave anything to be censored, but turns out there are a few things they had to cut out. In this video, we'll be telling you all about it. Firstly, it isn't what you think it is. Not gonna lie, season four of the show is probably its most violent one yet. Bone snapping, owl gouging, all of that. They really didn't hold back for this one. The scenes with Vecna are straight out of a chilling horror movie. To be honest, it's not a kid's show anymore, that's for sure. Here's the thing, Netflix didn't cut out much gore from this season. They chose to go all out in that department, but censored something else. Let's think back to the 80s. Roller skating, bright clothes, Stranger Things pretty much nails the entire aesthetic. Look at Will's hair for one. They really committed to the time period, because bowl cuts were very much a thing in fashion at times. When they leave out, believe it or not, is the smoking. Back then it was really common to see people smoking everywhere. Hospitals, parks, restaurants, everywhere. It was as common to see a cigarette in people hands as it is now to see an iPhone. It's hard to notice, but it's definitely there. In the first two seasons of the show, you can see Hopper and Joyce smoking a cigarette quite often. You sit down and count the times you see a character smoking on screen, it'd come up to about 182. When season four rolled in, they cut down on smoking scenes quite a lot. Except for seeing Eddie Munson bum a cig once or twice, you barely see it at all. And actually, this was because of the Truth Initiative. Netflix did this because they took some heat. A youth-focused initiative called the Truth Initiative posted a strongly worded report on the series before season four aired. One of their main focuses is being anti-tobacco and vaping, so you can see where this one went. Since streaming is the biggest way everyone gets their media fix now, the content you watch on Netflix is pretty important. The folks at the Truth Initiative said that rising rates of youth smokers is linked to how much they see it on screen, specifically on Netflix. They listed a few shows that show smoking a lot, like every single episode. Stranger Things was pretty high up on that list. Orange is the New Black and House of Cards were on there too. This isn't just limited to smoking cigarettes, but any tobacco product. And to be fair, a lot of people have admitted to finding characters smoking on screen pretty cool. If it fits all archetypes, the badass rebel, the stressed parent, the workaholic, plus Stranger Things was just trying to be historically accurate. Turns out, checking all the boxes got them in a little bit of trouble. And now, Netflix's response. Of course, Netflix had to respond immediately. They released a statement saying they'll keep shows under TV-14 smoking and vape free. For movies, anything under PG-13 will also be smoke free. This seems to apply to season 4 of Stranger Things as well. It's at a rating of TV-14 everywhere and we really can't see anyone smoking at all. What's more is they've issued smoking information in the content ratings for all their shows just to make audiences know that if they ever get the urge to light one up, it's not because of them. The directors really did have to make little minute changes for Netflix here. You wouldn't expect them in this way, but hey, that's the rules for you. Even though CDC reports that smoking cigarettes is going out of fashion, vaping is the newest biggest thing. This still applies, we guess. What's more is recent events have made Netflix consider the amount of blood and gore they should allow. Since the school shooting, in Uvalde, the fourth season came with a warning beforehand about violent content involving children. In this case, it totally makes sense. The senseless violence we see in school shootings is all too real, and it's best to put a warning on media that shows similar acts. Stranger Things couldn't censor any scenes in particular for this because they were all vital to the plot. There is one topic Netflix has censored, but this was done by Netflix Russia. We all love and remember the scene where Robin comes out to Steve, right? Well, it turns out that scene is actually censored for viewers in Russia. Since the country's strict laws against LGBT rights, gay media has been censored a lot. Sadly, this was no exception, and Russian fans had to find out through social media about Robin. In terms of blood, guts, and horror, we really see it in all of this season. It's crazy to think that out of everything, they censored smoking. The director specifically got a message from the higher-ups at Netflix to consciously cut down on any smoking scenes, so we really don't see Hopper or Joyce with a cigarette in their mouths. We'll probably see the same thing happen in the final season moving forward. Oh well, at least we won't get any of the good bits cut out. And now in other news. First up, more details about Season 5 of Stranger Things. What makes season 4 such a binge-worthy one is the absolute amount of content we got. Literally, each episode was about an hour long, not to mention that finale. After a huge event, we won't spoil it for you. Everyone's on their toes for the next and final season of Stranger Things, and here's what we know about it so far. They're starting filming as early as August of this year, and it'll come out in sometime in 2024. Yeah, that's a whole lot of time we know. The Duffer Brothers spoke on a podcast called Happy Sad Confused about what we can expect so far. Right now, it's too early to tell where the story's going, but we do know that the episode are going to be much shorter. The reason for this is because they've already established big arcs and details about the characters, all the ramp up basically, and season 4 was so long because there was a lot to fit in. They're going to continue with that and build momentum, so the episodes will definitely be less than an hour long. But hey, the Duffer Brothers have also said that series finale will be as long as a feature film. It is the last episode of the entire series after all, so you can expect a two and a half hour long finale to ball your eyes out to. What's more is, there's going to be a lot of action. Not that there hasn't been before, but the gang's going to hit the ground running. They've all 
got a goal and a drive, and that's going to be the pace for the season. Let's see where they take us. Next, the Duffer brothers respond to Millie Bobby Brown's criticisms. The cast have been pretty candid about their thoughts on the season finale so far. Brown's no exception, and she recently joked about how the Duffer brothers are so reluctant to kill people off of Stranger Things. In an interview with The Wrap, Brown commented on how they couldn't fit all of the cast together in one picture. There were just too many of them. She's brought up the idea of killing off characters, but the Duffers never agreed. She calls them sensitive sallies. No shade, just a genuine critique. The Duffer brothers responded by saying that there are basically a lot of lies behind the process. They were to kill off any of the main characters just yet, it'd be similar to a lot of other shows. The writer's room has brainstormed it all, so rest easy. And finally, how Eddie Munson is connected to Johnny Depp. Did you know that Eddie Munson's character is based loosely off a writer named Damien Eccles? This is a bit of trivia because even cooler when you realize that Depp was involved with Eccles' case as well. What happened was that Eccles was wrongfully accused of murdering eight young boys in West Memphis in the 90s. And this was when Satanic Panic was in full swing and he had to spend 18 years behind bars for a crime he never committed. Here's where Depp comes in. After watching a documentary about the case, Depp supported the wrongfully accused. He stood by Eccles and helped him go through DNA testing to prove he hadn't committed the crime. Eccles is now 47 and he speaks of Depp really fondly because the guy helped him get out of jail. He's like a brother to him and that's just sweet. That's a pretty big deal if you ask us. It's crazy to think that Eddie Munson's character has these ties with the actor this way. Well, the more you know. That's all for today's video, folks. What do you think about Netflix censoring smoking in Stranger Things? Is it a bit too much? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.